Charles, this is um, a happy man. This is the this is uh, the dream of a career. This is what you've been fighting for for years and years and years to cross the finish line victoriously. Yeah, um, <laughs> right. As a real professional, you have to ride the Tour de France, finish the Tour de France, and winning, winning a stage in the Tour de France is everybody's dream. And uh, I'm not a I'm not a neo pro. I've been dreaming about this for a very long time. After the classics, opening classic, Flanders classic, I had a very difficult time. Um, the we I had a verbal agreement with the team about extending the contract, and uh, I got ignored for a long time, and um, it was very difficult. I was on a long altitude camp, but my girlfriend was there. She supported me every every day, highly pregnant, <laughs> and I was struggling to finish my training schedules. But uh, I changed my mind. I talked to. I have a bright future now, in, still in cycling. I became a father and was like blue skies, <laughs> only blue skies. I started to feel very good on the bike and coming to this Tour de France with a super motivated team. We have a super good atmosphere in the team. Um, and uh, this is just the, you know, the sum of, of this atmosphere in the team. and. Uh, we're going we gonna to celebrate tonight. This is a victory for your son. This is a victory for your wife, I suppose. The wife, the, is, is my girlfriend, is not my, my wife, Sorry. not yet. <laughs> but um, this is the support I have from, from my girlfriend is incredible. She's always there for me. We went nine weeks on an altitude camp. She was highly pregnant. Um, she gave birth to our son at the bottom of the climb in Granada. It's, um, she is the hero in this story. Um, and uh, I'm so grateful uh, that uh, she made this possible, that the team made it possible, that I have the super long altitude camp uh, to prepare this Tour de France. I get a lot of faith for the, of the team and also because of the birth of my son. I didn't do any preparation race leading into the Tour de France, but I had the faith that I will be in a good shape. I will be leaving the team, but I'm so happy that we can finish off with the, with the maybe the highlight of my career. Um, and uh, it's a super nice way to uh, to leave the team and to uh, yeah for this Tour de France. Uh, Again, we will we will celebrate tonight. About the race, it's it's also the victory of experience. Um, you had to be the smartest out there. I think I played it very smart, and also uh, I um, uh, the team gave me a lot of confidence that everybody knew that I had very good legs, and that this was a stage that I aimed for. Let's say in December already. Um, that I said stage 18 is the stage, the only stage I see an opportunity for me to win. Um, I slipped in the breakaway with only one bullet. I, I maybe uh, played it a bit dirty with uh, showing or trying to show everybody that I was hurting a lot. So I didn't have to do too much pulls. I followed the moves. Uh, and uh, we had a great attack going on there in the final. We collaborated very well together, actually, until the last kilometer. Um, and I'm so... Uh, yeah, it's indescribable. There is still three hard days to come. But um, I'm looking so much forward to go home to uh, my girlfriend and my son. Well deserved. Thank you. I suppose... Uh, 
it must feel good when when everything's under control on a stage like this one when there's a big breakaway no dangers it's wow, it's never relaxing but uh, it, it feels good yeah it feels good but uh, today the parkours was never really too you could never really relax a little uh, too much it was all the day up and down and uh, yeah it was uh, still pretty hard uh, hard day but uh, all under control so I'm really happy. Did you have in the back of your mind what's going to happen tomorrow? Tomorrow we go to Isola. There's La Bonnette. Uh, it's going to be you know it. You know it very well. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, did we decide already which uh, stage is Queen stage? I think tomorrow can be can be the one. I think tomorrow can be Queen stage of the, the Tour de France. But yeah, uh, I really like uh, Col de La Bonnette. It's really nice climb and. Uh, Isola 2000. I've been training there a lot uh, the last month uh, before the tour, so I'm uh, I'm looking forward to, to race there. So you have a little advantage? I don't know. I, I have an advantage of three minutes and eleven seconds. So let's uh, let's keep it that way and uh, let's see tomorrow if uh, if we keep that uh, the same gap or yeah. Meaning you'll ride defensively or offensively? Yeah, let's first think about defensively and then uh, we see in the final climb uh, how are the legs turning. Merci, monsieur. Thank you. Uh, you as well, um, and, and you also have to deal with, with your injuries. How did today go? Yeah, today was uh, one of the hardest days, to be honest, for me than uh, the last two, two days. Uh, yeah, after the crash. Another day of suffering uh, for all the peloton, but for you as well, um, and and you also have to deal with with your injuries. How did today go? Yeah, today was uh, one of the hardest days, to be honest, for me than uh, the last two two days. Uh, yeah, after the crash, I think yeah, uh, now it uh, it hurts a lot. Yeah, today to be honest, I, I have a lot of pain, and then that's why I went so many times to the doctor to have some painkiller and then. Uh, also some bandage, uh, but yeah, luckily uh, I managed quite well to uh, to arrive in the time, and uh, yeah, I hope tomorrow it's uh, gonna be a, a good day for me. Are, are you actually worried about the three days to come? Yeah, uh, now is the most <laughs> the hardest uh, stage coming up, uh, especially with the short stage and then high altitude and uh, a lot of elevation. It's gonna be a really tough day. Also now. Uh, there is a lot of riders out of the, this race, so that means we don't have a lot of riders for the Grupetto, so it's not going to be uh, easy, but uh, I hope my teammates is uh, always with me and then uh, I hope we need to deal with that and uh, try to continue until this. Nice. Thank you very much. Merci, guys.